So we already know um, how to find an equation of a line that is tangent to a function at a certain x value. Um, that's, that's fairly simple to do as long as you remember a couple of things. This is the point-slope um, form for a line, formula, form, whatever. Um, if you're given or you can figure out an x1 and a y1, then, uh, and you can figure out the slope, then all you have to do is plug those three things in, and you'll get an equation for some line with that slope going through that point. Um, so that's something to remember. Also remember the derivative gives you a formula for, uh, or like an equation that gives you the slope of the tangent line at any given x or y value. Um, so that, there's that. If you want the slope, you get the derivative. So if we want to find the equation of a line that's tangent to a graph at some point, well, we'd take the derivative so that we could get m, and then we'd also, we'd probably be given an x value, that would be x1. To find a y value, you would just plug in x1 to your equation, and then you would get, or your original equation, your original function, not the derivative, but your original function, and you'll get a y value for that, and then, uh, and then you'll have everything you need. Um, so let's, what is this, normal lines? It's abnormal, no, normal, normal has a specific definition. So a loose, a loose general definition of a normal line is, so like a normal line to a curve, normal line, um, is simply a line that is perpendicular to the curve. So tangent lines lay tangent, they just barely touch it, they, they pass through at one point. Normal lines uh, are just perpendicular. So let's, let's draw a picture real quick just to, to emphasize what these means. What do you mean? What do you mean? So if we have a curve like that, uh, the tangent line, let's do the tangent line in green. Ooh, sweet, that's pretty close. So that's the tangent line. So that's very nice. Uh, the normal line would be perpendicular to that. So there you have it. The normal line there is, is perpendicular. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, that's really the only thing that's different in this section. If we can find the slope of a tangent line, we can also find the slope of a normal line. What? M and D, what do you mean? Uh, well, I mean, we know if we know that they're perpendicular to each other, the tangent line and the normal line, um, since the tangent is tangent to the curve, the normal is perpendicular to the curve, but if the tangent is tangent to the curve, then... The normal is perpendicular to the tangent. Uh, so if we know that if we know the slope of the tangent line, you just take the opposite reciprocal, and then we'll find the slope of the normal line. The slope of the normal line is the opposite reciprocal of uh, the slope of the tangent line. So there you go. That's that's the new information. Um, we, we would do examples. We would do two examples, but it's pretty simple. Uh, that's really all you need. Like you could probably do it right now. This section, you probably understand it. You're probably good. You know, we're done. Just kidding. Real quick, before we do an example, I'll do a mini example. Um, if we had the slope, like the tangent slope, uh, let's say that was negative three, then the normal slope, that would be the opposite. So instead of negative, it would be positive. And the reciprocal would be 1 over 3. So really, you're doing all the same steps. If it asks you, what's the equation What's the equation of, a, of the line that's normal, of the normal line to this function when x equals 3? When x equals 5, let's say that. And what, what's the equation of the normal line? Well, all you got to do, if you know x is 3, you plug in an x to your function, you get a y. you got an x and y. That's the two parts. That's that and that. And then, uh, well, if you want the slope of the normal line, you just take the derivative and then plug in the, the, the 5, because x was 5 in this hypothetical situation. You plug in that 5, you see what the slope is, and then you take the opposite reciprocal, and that's the slope of the normal line, and you put that slope of the normal line in there. You got it. You got it. Bing, bang, boom. You're done. What, 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 is, he, what is he talking about? I don't, I, I, I don't follow. I, I, I don't follow it. Well, let's do an example then. Yeah? Yeah? Maybe in part two. In part two. Examples in part two.